So this is a quick screencast on how to edit content in one of your teaching group spaces. So I'm here on my profile page and I'm going to click on uh, one of the teaching groups that I administer. And uh, because of my administrative rights, I have this options um, tab or uh, button here at the top of my teaching group space. Within that, there's a couple of different things that you can do. You can edit the group page. If you click on that and it opens up, honestly, the only thing that you'd probably want to edit on this page is within this uh, widget here. Maybe if I want to add, for example, my phone number and I put that in and type in there text or call, for example, and then I click update here at the bottom. You'll notice that now this widget over here now has my phone number so you can add a whole bunch of other information here if you would like uh, within that same edit group feature the only other thing that you probably ever want to change is the cover photo that's the photo that's kind of in the background behind your group icon we'd prefer that you not change the group icon but that you could change the cover photo so long as it's not a copyrighted photo that uh, we might get in trouble for for having in the community itself i'll go ahead and cancel there because i'm not going to change anything else um, another option that you may choose to look at is the manage pages at the start of every semester, the community team will set up your page to look like the page is now. There's a couple of different layouts that we have options for. We've always selected this layout and we pre set up everything on the page for you. And so while you do have some flexibility to change things around, we'd prefer that you at least leave the content that we've already created for you there. The tabs uh, that you see on that home page are listed right here. You could actually add another tab if you wanted to, um, but forums typically is where you would put your asynchronous meetings and so forth. So there's some things in here that you can look at and kind of understand. Honestly, you may not change all that much here. I'm going to cancel there and go back to the home page. Uh, the other thing that you'll do is uh, a lot of teaching group leaders, for example, will ask me, well, how do I update my forum posts or delete or change or modify? The forum widget that we have here down below is the same as this tab here. It just turns into the whole page of forums. So let's say you want to add a discussion. Well, because you're an admin or because you're a member, you can obviously add a new forum post. Or let's say that maybe you want to edit one that you've already posted for. When you click on that individual post, you'll see that you have the option here to edit the post. And when you select edit, it then pulls up this uh, HTML editor uh, box. And uh, if you know HTML, have at it, have fun with it. Otherwise, just going regular to the visual mode, maybe you wanna add something or delete something or change a grammatical error or misspelling or something you can do that and then you would just select update you can also add tags that help with search uh, and those kinds of things i'm going to go ahead or if you have old posts that you'd like to get rid of you could also delete that post there i'm going to go ahead and cancel and select leave this page so that's just kind of in a nutshell some of the things that you can do in your space